Hi! Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show you how to install the 3D printer upgraded hot end kit with a flat heating block. This hot end is specifically designed for Creality K1 or K1 Max 3D printers. What makes this hot end unique is its square shape, unlike the usual cylindrical design, and its flat heating element, which ensures optimal heat distribution and stability. Here are the parts of the hot end that I'll be installing. First, we have the square shaped hot end, which already includes a nozzle and a throat. The next part is the flat heater element, designed with a flat heating structure to ensure optimal heat distribution and stability. Then, we have the thermistor, which will later be inserted into this hole in the hot end. Next, we have the aluminum heat sink and the PTFE tube, which will be assembled together with the hot end kit. Next, there's a silicone sleeve to insulate the hot end, a fixing bracket to secure the heating element and thermistor to the hot end, and thermal grease to enhance heat transfer between components and ensure stable temperature control. Here's how to assemble the heating element and thermistor onto the hot end using the fixing bracket. Notice that the hot end has stoppers on the top and bottom to position the heating element securely. For the thermistor, insert the tip of its wire into the designated hole. This is the condition after the heating element and thermistor are installed on the hot end. When inserting the thermistor into the hole, you can apply thermal grease to the thermistor and the hole to ensure it stays securely in place during use. To install it on the machine, first attach the heatsink to the 3D printer. Make sure the PTFE tube is also installed on the heatsink. This helps prevent heat from the hot end from transferring to the upper parts. After the heatsink is installed, the next step is to attach the hot end assembly to the heatsink using two screws. Before installing, make sure to apply thermal grease to the throat of the hot end. This helps improve heat transfer between the hot end and the heat sink, ensuring better temperature stability and performance. This is the condition after the hot end assembly is attached to the heat sink. Make sure you've tightened the screws properly, and ensure that the hot end is positioned straight, without any tilt. Next, install the silicone sleeve onto the hot end to provide insulation and protect the hot end from heat damage. Next, plug the wire terminals of the heating element and thermistor into the adapter board, making sure they are connected properly. Then, secure the board in place using three bolts. On my Creality K1 machine, there is a fan, so make sure it is installed correctly as well. The final step is to install the nozzle cover. If you had removed the extruder motor earlier, make sure the extruder motor is reattached, along with the extruder cover. Once everything is properly installed, the assembly is complete. Next, perform a test by extruding the filament. Make sure the filament flows smoothly from the nozzle. In this example, I'm using ABS filament. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you in the next videos.